This recipe is a flashback to your college years. Sweet with a little wine. Here to make everyone's favorite dessert with a kick in the CI kitchen, U of I student chef Jamie Ellickman is here. So welcome. Thank you. I am smelling wine actually now that I mentioned that. So what are we making today? Today we're making a red wine fudge brownie. It's part of my drunken brownie senior dessert. And um, it's going to be topped with a red wine whipped cream and also amaretto soaked strawberries dipped in chocolate. Oh my word. So this is all in anticipation of your big spice box meal. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what you have planned for your meal. Um, so each course of the menu is a year in school. So from freshmen ranging from cinnamon butter, trying to stay calm, all the way up to the senior drunken brownie uh, <laughs> with a few fun hints in between. Okay, so, so uh, the cinnamon is a tie to, to being calm? Correct. And then the yes. next one, the sophomore, is that I need a salad. So I'm um, oh. trying to eat healthy when you're a sophomore. Oh, my word. Mm -hmm. This sounds so fun. What was your inspiration? How did you come up with this? Um, so I just think that college is really transformative, you know, thinking from being in the dorms to getting your own apartment, finding a job. So I wanted to look back on it and um, bring the community in with Yeah, me. I love it. So how do you decorate for this type of, um, <laughs> type of dinner? So we have different cork boards all around the room, and each board is going to be um, a year in school and also study abroad. We have favorites around town. A student is where the students in my class will actually write words that describe students. It'll be really cool. It's going to be so fun. I mm -hmm. can just tell. So let's get started on these um, red wine fudge brownies. So what do we need to do to get started? Okay. So I'm going to grab the bowl over here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so first we're going to add in about a cup of the all-purpose flour. Okay. Did you come up with this recipe yourself? I made a few tweaks to it to right. um, get used to the wine inside of it, oh, so yeah. a little more dry. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add about three quarters cup of cocoa powder. Okay. In it goes. Thank you. And then we're going to go on to two cups of sugar. So this is a sugar lover's dream. Right. So let's not be counting calories uh, the night of your meal. No, no, no. <laughs> it's after Valentine's Day, so we're okay. Yes. Um, and then we're going to do about a quarter teaspoon of iodized salt. Just regular salt. Okay. A little salt in there. Thank you. And then we're going to finish off the dry with about a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, so we're going to get all of our dry ingredients mm -hmm. combined first. Do we need to have our oven preheated? Um, yes, we do, to 350, and then you're going to lightly grease and put aluminum foil on a 9 by 13. Okay, pan. so we've already got that going, so we're mm -hmm. going to mix this up. Mm -hmm. Oh, we we're still have to add the chocolate chips. Correct, so we're going to put in four ounces of the semi-sweet chocolate chips in here. Okay. And this really adds a nice fudgy component to it. Okay. Um, so now, actually, we're going to mix at the end, oh. so we're going to put in the three large eggs. Why do they always say you need to mix your dry ingredients before your wet ingredients, and then now yeah. we're not? Is that... You know, I'm not sure. The recipe I've been using, it's well, been then working, we're gonna, right? We're <laughs> going to trust your recipe. We're not going to mess with a good thing. All right, I'm just going to pull the garbage can next oh, to yeah, here. Oh, sure. yeah, Thank you. We got this. Don't want to get on this nice, yeah. clean kitchen. So you're going to break three large eggs into the bowl. Okay. So this will be the dessert at your meal. Correct, yes. Okay. And then you mentioned you're going to top it with a um, special frosting. What's mm -hmm. that? It's a red wine whipped cream. Um, people thought it would be a little more red. So did I. Um, but you can really taste it um, in the whipped cream. So it's really nice. Mm, okay. All right. So now we're going to go on and put in about a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Okay. Now we're on some more wet ingredients. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do... Um, about a stick of unsalted butter, melted. Okay. It's looking yummy so It far. is. It smells <laughs> so good in here, and we haven't even started baking yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This makes it really nice and sweet. And now we got to get these babies drunk, right? Mm -hmm. And let's get it drunk with um, <laughs> lots of wine. It's about four and a half fluid ounces of wine. So we're using a red wine. Does the, is the wine important? What, what kind do we use? Um, no, it's not really important. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to let you mix this up. We're okay. going to bake these up for how long? Um, you're going to bake it for about 20 minutes in the oven. Okay. We're going to put these in the oven, and it's Chef, um, U of I student Chef Jamie Elkman. There's a look at her upcoming Spice Box meal in case you're interested in coming and checking it out and supporting all of our great students there at the U of I. We've got the details on your screen, and we'll have them on sayliving.tv after today's show. Stay tuned for the big reveal.